Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Friday, March the 15th, 2024. Let's see how easy this one is. I've got two sixes in rows two and three. I can place the six in row one, actually. It goes here, and then this six combined with that six will force one of those two to be a six. Anyway, going back to the initial scanning, these are ones by rows. If 6 and 1 are removed, I've got 7, 9, 2, 1, 5, 3. I'm done. And apparently this does solve uniquely. <laughs> because I did transfer it from here and then here. And it did come in from here. And in fact, there is nothing in row 4. So that's how I transliterate the grids. And... Down here in the middle three rows, I can place an 8, but that's all I'm going to get. Because that's the only repeat digit. In the bottom three rows, again, here's an 8. This may end up as an X-wing in rows 4 and 7, but I don't know yet. Uh, those two ones are going to force one of these to be a 1. So this is an X-wing in rows 2 and 7 on ones. Go ahead and mark the corners of it. Um, other than 1 and 8, I have 4, 3, 9, 2, once a peach. I'm done. Okay, so uh, one of those is a 1, 6, 4, 7, 3, 9. So on the left three columns are done. The middle three columns, okay, 8 is one of those two. Uh, five. Okay, I can place a five in one of those two. Five and nine, uh, remove, no, five and eight. Remove, give me seven, two, six, nine, ah. Okay, so I can place a two in one of these two. And then in the rightmost columns, Six, I already did. One, they give me all three of them. Eight, I can place one of them in two spots. So six, eight, one, one, six, eight, one, six, eight. I've got nine, three, five, and that's all I get. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Well, I'm going to have to start looking at crossings a lot sooner than I thought. So I've got dark blue for X-wings. I'll use green, uh, dark green, i.e. this color, for a crossing. Two looks in here. So two is placed in one of these two. That places it in one of these three. Uh, do I have a crossing on threes? Not quite. The reason is this three looks down, but this three is in the wrong row to look over, and I still have one, two, three, four spots available for a three in box nine. Uh, five, unfortunately doesn't work because I've got one, two, three spots for it. Okay, four and five both can't be here. Oh, and four can't be here, so four is one of those two, which is irritating. Okay, 7 and 9 both cross in the box 1. 7 and 9 look up, and 7 and 9 look over. So, these and these can't be 7 or 9, so 7 and 9 are in two of those three cells. I was hoping I'd have a pair. I don't. This is going to be a difficult grid. I really don't want to fill everything in, but after horizontal scanning, vertical scanning, and even crossings, I have an X-wing, and I have one digit. That's it. Now, this will fall apart relatively quickly once I fill in a good chunk of the rest of the grid, because 
about one third of the remaining cells are pencil marked with one of two spots for a given digit in a column, row, or region. But having said that, I have to start at the top of the grid. There are five slots here. One, six, seven, and nine are taken. I need two, three, four, five, eight to fill out the rest of row one. That's only three or four. That's two thirds of a three, four, eight, but three, four are out here, and that's all I get. In column seven, which has five digits filled in, I have one, three, four, six, eight placed. I need two, five, seven, and nine. This sees two and nine. Those are two, seven, and nine. Neither can be five. This is two, five, seven, because it can't be nine. Okay, so this can't be nine because of that. This can't be nine because of that. So I place nine in one of those two. Both are in the same column. This virtual nine and this nine to combine to form one of nines in one of those two. Let's see, I found a crossing on twos there. <sighs> okay, uh, one, five, six, eight. I need two, four, six, two, three, four, seven, nine for the rest of box six. These aren't nine, and that's additionally not seven. As expected, I don't get much use out of it. Let's see. Two, five, seven, eight. I need one, three, four, six, nine for the rest of column six. That's not one, three, or six. These aren't nine because in the box, that's not one by row. This isn't one, three, or nine all by row. That's not one. I've got nine in the awkward spots. Wait a minute. Okay, this can't be one because of that. This isn't one because of that. These two aren't one because of this one and this one, respectively. That's a hidden one. I'm going to mark it. This one and this one. Now force that one to be a one. Because this isn't. Um, but three, four, six, nine, I got nothing else useful in column six, do I? Not one. It may or may not help me. I don't know how much, but... Okay, this cell sees one, three, five, six, seven, nine. This is strictly two, four, or eight. And I need to put it in the right mode. Remember, it sees one, three, five, seven, nine. This sees all the odd digits. The two, four, seven, eight, nine by row, and this can be any of them, I think. Eight. Neither of those can be nine. That's not eight. Okay, these are not one, two, three. Six nine, so they are from four five seven eight, and box three is now complete. And indeed, I've got two there. Okay, I've got five in one of these two. Five is in one of these three. We knew that. Excuse me. <clears throat> Um, okay, what's left there? Not one, not two or six. Well, okay, these aren't one, two, or six. Not three, four, ooh. A 
annoyingly, this could still be 3. Now, if this was not 3, because those can't be 3, and this can't be 3, if this cell was not 3, I'd have 2, 3, 5 in here. And this would be a 2, 3, 5 triple, which would place 8 and 4. But I can't quite do that yet. These are not 2, 5, 6, 7. They are from 1, 3, 4, 8, 9. This is not 8 or 9. Yeah. 3, 4, 8, 3, 4. If this was 3, 4 or 3, 4, 8 and not 1, I'd have a 3, 4, 8 triple, but I don't. And so indeed, I got one and one of these two, and that's all I get. Column 2 needs 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. This isn't 4. This isn't 3 or 4 or 5. This is not 8 for the same reason. That... Okay, well, I got 3 in one of those, but that crosses a region. 2, 4, 5, 8 clearly do, so this was not helpful. Okay, these cells are not 1, 3, 4. Okay, what does that help me with? Nothing. Okay, these aren't 1, 4, or 7, so they're 2, 5, 8, or 3, 6, 9. This is any of them, that's not 5, 6, or 8. All by row, this is an 8 or 9, both by row. These are not 1, 3, 9. I end up in that configuration. This could be a 2, 6, 7, 8 hidden quad, but I don't know definitively. See, these cells are not 1, 4, 5, 6, 8, so they, these are from 2, 3, 7, 9, but these are 2, 3, 7 because neither can be 9. That's not 2. Annoyingly, 3 crosses a region here. In that configuration, that's not helpful. 1, 7, 8, 9. Okay, this is not 2 or 6. This is 3, 4, 5 only. That can't be 8 or 9 because of the box. Okay. 2, 3, 4, not 5. It could be 6, it could be 7. Okay, these cells are not 5, 8, or 9, or 2. Only oh, that could be a 4. Irritating. All right, what are these? Not 2, 6, or 8. Three or five by box or nine by row. This is three seven. This is four seven. Uh, may or may not be interesting, but five crosses a region here, so that's not helpful. All right, these cells are not one four five eight nine. They are from 2, 3, 6, 7 only. That's not 2. These are not 1, 4, 6, 8. They fall 2, 3, 5, 7, 9 like that. Okay, now what?
three, four, eight, all across the region there. Excuse me. This is a perfect quad. One of these digits and I'd have a triple. Okay, wait a minute. All right, this is two, so these can't be two because two's there. And these can't be five, so these must be five. This must be, so these can't be five either. So three. Okay. This might be a hidden quad. I think I'm going to go with that. Not quite. There's only four digits there. And I, that one has five candidates in it. I thought I was going to be able to say... The reason this doesn't work as a hidden quad when this one has five digits is then what am I going to put there? Okay, two fiber up here somewhere. Okay, the top rows now look correct, I think. Nine's in three spots there. Six, unfortunately, is in four spots. Okay, we said 9 was one of these two, so this can't be 9. One of those two, 7, so crosses a region and a line. That's really irritating. Like the fact this one still has six different candidates with it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very confused at this point because I'm not entirely sure. Where I'm supposed to go next. Yeah, I don't. Mark anything else strangely. Two's here, five is here. Oh, six is one of those two. I do not like those offsets. Four, seven, and four, six, and four, nine. Okay, that's a strange way to go about things.
uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here. I'm utterly lost. I have to think about this for a little bit. Because aside from... Got a one here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I, there's got to be more offset pairs, I think. I'm missing six is in one of these two. Nine in box eight is in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. And column, what is that, four? But I don't know that I can do anything with it. At least not immediately. Yeah, there's something about the way the digits are interacting, but I don't see any other crossings besides that one. And that 2 8. That I've already identified. How that eight how the eight interacts with anything though. Hmm. Yeah, I have too many digits marked in something, but I'm not sure what to do at this point. But nine rules these out. The only place for nine is here and here. Right, because these can't be nine because of that. This can't be nine because of that. The only place for nine in column four is here and here. But this also means it's a one. That's very, very strange. Does that... Wow. I think I just figured something out. Yeah, no. One of those must be nine. One of those must be nine. And one of these can be one. That's a very strange way to go about it. But this and this, I think, is a hidden 1-9 pair. And essentially a crossing, also. So this is 1 or 9. That means 8 goes here. This is 1 or 9, because 1 or 9 can only go in those two cells. One or nine can only go in those two cells in column four. 
Now, what that means, crucially, is that 3 must go one of these two. So what that means is none of those can be a 3. Now, I still don't know anything about 4 or 7. Let's see, 8 means those aren't 8. This is 2, 5, and something. It has to be did as I can remove from here, but I'm not seeing it yet. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I, for, I forced 3 to be one of these cells. This is a hidden 3, because where else is there a 3 in box 8? These can't be. This one by Paralogic, this one by that virtual 3. These could never have been 3 in the first place thanks to that. This now can't be 3 because of this. Yeah, 3 must go here. And so... That's a 9. That's a 1. Okay, this is 3, 4, which means that's not 4. That's a 9. Okay, 4, 6 is here. Uh, this is forced to be a 1. 3, 4. This isn't 4, and that's not 4. Okay, 2, 6, 7. That's a triple. Let me go mark it. That 9 means this isn't 9. That one is. Not 3. Not 9. And I don't get much else, do I? Oh, actually, wait a minute. Okay, this is a hidden three. Four is now one of these two. So that's not four. This is now a hidden four. Oh, boy. Yeah, this could not have been four. Once four was forced into one of those two spots in the box. That's a triple. This obviously isn't. But 4 means that's not 4. That's an 8. Now all these other cells, those can't be 8. This isn't 4. That's not 8, and this is. Let's see, this isn't 8, so now 8 really isn't one of these two. 8 makes this a 2, so these aren't 2. Most importantly, that's not 2, and that's not 2. Okay, this is a 3, 5, as expected. That 2 in row 7 means those are 2 in... Box 9 in row 7 are not 2. So now we've forced a 3 in one of these spots. Now that that helps me a whole lot. This is down to 4, 6. This is down to 4, 2, 6, 7. Uh, this is down to nothing useful. I've still done nothing. Oh, that's now a 6, 7, which makes this a 5. At the bottom left corner of the grid, 2 is placed. 
that's not two or five. That's six. This isn't two, five, or six. Okay, this isn't six. So that's left as a seven, eight, nine. This isn't two. Not six because of the box. Same reason for that. This isn't five. Oh, four, six, seven. That's a triple. So these are two, five. And now this is a triple. Three, six, seven in box nine. That four, six, seven there. That's a triple, but six in row six places the four and the six, which places the seven and the four, which means these are not four. This is a three, five, seven, so these are two and six, and I know the order. Uh, which means this isn't two. Okay, that's not four. What does that do? Not much. It's not two. Okay, that's a triple. That's a triple. Uh, six makes that seven. So eight, six. Eight makes this nine. That's seven, which makes this four. Nine makes that three. That five, that two, that eight, nine, five, three, four, three. I think it just collapsed. Seven, three, five, three, nine. I don't have enough yet. Uh, seven makes this five, that four. Uh, remove this because that's now a two, seven. Uh, this couldn't have been nine. A long ways back. Not three, not four. Okay, two seven there makes this a five. That three, seven, six, two, seven, two, seven, two, four, and there we go. Ah, that was a toughie. If I had that one nine pair in column four was absolutely crucial. And then I found the hidden one and three in column six, and the four in row nine, and effectively after that, it relatively collapsed after that. But wow, that was a doozy. And it just gave me a reminder that I have to leave for my group event, like now. So I finished this just in time. Thank you for joining me this afternoon.